every special interest, cooking, karaoke, and sheep. Yes, you heard me right. Flock is a new title coming to the PSN and has all the trappings of a classic. Puzzle solving, aliens, and farm animals. This game is really very different, but I just want to ask, uh -huh. why did you go with alien abduction and farm animals? Yeah, I mean, it might be a personal thing with the team over in Scotland. Uh, you know, I kind of I kind of <laughs> wonder, it might be a little fetish there, I don't know. And when you go there and you're driving through Scotland, you see the farms and you see the sheep and you see the cows. So a lot of the animals you see in flock mm -hmm. is exactly what you see when you're driving through Scotland. Well, how, mm -hmm. What are the game mechanics like? What are you trying to achieve with that? The main thing is that you want to get um, the animals from just kind of the farm into what we affectionately call the mother flocker. <laughs> so, so there's sheep, there's chickens. Is that the official it's, name? I got it. It's uh, we don't know if we're going to actually print it, but that's what we call it. So for okay. the sake of this interview, you heard it here first. It's a mother flocker. So you, you want to push the animals into into the uh, into the mother flocker. We don't know what the mother flocker is going to do with them. We don't really dig into that. How you get them there is a big is a big challenge. Are you going to mate them and make more sheep? Are you going to take Kind of, are you going to make bridges? Are you going to kind of just scare them around the bend? Are you going to use, you know, like we have pigs that behave like pinballs. So you kind of bounce them up and down and lots of like really quirky, fun mechanics. We're always giving you something new and fun to do. Uh, we kind of call it a puzzle sandbox because, sandbox. yeah, most of the levels you don't have to solve one way. There's multiple ways of solving it. You kind of just tinker around with the game. And we think that's kind of one of the more unique things in addition to the look. So what are the different ways that you can kind of tell the sheep and the animals which way to go? What can you use to your advantage? Sure, so um, as you upgrade your UFO, you get a beam that you can depress things, you get a, you get a beam that can suction things. So um, we give you a big level of many, many things you could do. There might be uh, crops sticking up where you could do crop circles and make a pattern and a path for the sheep. If you find a female sheep, you can kind of bring all the guys to the female and they'll follow her around kind of like when you leave a bar at 2 a.m. All of them? All of them. All of uh -huh. the sheep. Yeah, it's quite a party. It's a sheep Ooh, party, if you know what I mean. Party, yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Bounce, go, so can you flock with your friends? I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> in Flock, you can you can play co-op. So you have about 50 levels in the single player campaign and around 15 or 16 in the co-op. Plus you can make your own levels, so there's a lot of ways to play this thing. How could you possibly want anything else out of a supporting character? Adorable and delicious. Mmm, sheepy. <laughs>